Today, I want to take a look at ISO techniques in Mari 4, and let's dive into it now. Okay, so ISO mask now. That's something we use in texturing to isolate effects or uh, to give LookDev a way to override what we have been texturing. So I usually build up a, a number of ISOs or masks that I use for uh, my texturing workflows. I might build like a dirt mask or a material based mask. And yeah, this is some of my workflows and it's built upon my live streaming series where I've taken a asset from start to finish. So now I'm gonna do this more in offline version and it's gonna be condensed because my live streams has been very long as it's, yeah, it's live. So yeah, let's take a look now and see what we can do here in Mari. The first thing I do when starting a project is to define different type of materials and uh, general masks. So what I mean by that is if I need to isolate, for example, uh, these, these ones, for example, here, if I just mark it, I might need to have masks. So uh, that's something I do. So I call this ISO mask or mask or a RGB mask, uh, different facilities that have, have different namings for, for stuff. So ISO is something that's kind of common. So let's define ISOs. That's something I do. And uh, there's different ways. So you can make a channel, for example, here. Let's name it to uh, ISO rubber. And in this case, 8-bit uh, actually works okay here and scalar data. It's just a black white mask, so doesn't need to be anything fancy. And there we go in the no graph, we see it. Here we have it. In my case, for example, let's say I want to define this, this gun here and say that the barrel is something I want to add. So I can now in more for drag and drop selections. Maybe uh, this is going to be the same type of material drag white into the mask so so that that's there we have a mask and yeah that's something you can do so uh, yeah i usually think about what type of materials need to be split out if i need to do mask like that and yeah so th that's in the channel mask you can have a lot of channels but there's gonna be a lot of channels here if you're gonna define all the masks. so as i work extensively in the null graph I rather do it there, so I don't really have uh, channels per se. So let's let's define this in another way. So in my case, if I hit the P button, I make a paint node. Same goes here. It's uh, I want scalar data. Uh, Eight bit is okay for this mask as well. And here we go. Let's look at this again. So if I now wanted to uh, define the same here, let's say that I want to define this as a uh, mask drag and drop it into there and that's fine let's make another one let's let's take the body for example i want to define the body here let's uh, turn on uh, wireframe and um, want to have something that's not black so i can see my selections and there we go Looking at this, I want to have this as a mask. Why not take these? It's going to be the same material on those. Oh, so there we go. In the node graph now, we have loose nodes here. So what I usually do when I start to define things like this is to uh, first off make a backdrop. So if I hit tab and type backdrop. Then we can name this as well to ISO. There we go. If I now zoom in here, place it somewhere. Let's make a adjust the color on the backdrop so we have something else. So that that's cool. So I, I collect them here. So but yeah, now I want to use them somewhere. So if I define a lot of ISO masks and stuff, 
To be able to use it wherever I am in my node graph, I need to either hunt around. So if I now here just drag this, I can connect it to a mask node there, and that's that's fine. But yeah, it's gonna be nodes going all over the place. So I use extension pack. And extension pack has a radio transmitter node, so that's something. So I, I, I spent some time defining uh, masks or procedural type of masks that I will need downstream. Then I declare them. So if I now hit tab and type radio transmitter here and hook it up. So this one, let's see what is uh, this is actually the body. So let's define them. Um, then the name here let's say I want to see only one at a time and I want this to be called ISO uh, body this one I want to declare as ISO gun metal or something like that so make another radio transmitter ISO uh, gun metal and so on so you get a drift so i start to declare my uh, materials or mask i want to ac uh, access later on so demonstrate this now very quick here so we can get a sense of how this will work so if i let's say that i'm over here i'm starting to build something uh, like take a color node like define if I hit the one here I will start to look at the node Desi uh, define a uh, for example some kind of base color there let's turn off the, the wireframe shift W let's create another node so color again let's say I want to make like a, a green ish color with uh, some less saturation here actually and value make it a bit greener or darker there something like that and I want to merge these so I hit the M button you can say this is the base this is the top it's gonna be green there but now I want to use this the ISO body I defined earlier so I create another radio node and hook it up to the, um, the mask there. But before that, I wanna choose what radio node I want to uh, define. So uh, if I, this is a new install, so I haven't mapped shortcut, but you can right click and go to MISC connect to transmitter. You get this interface and we have the two declared um, variables here. The names, I it looks for the names. So in my case, I want the ISO body here, hit enter there. And if I look at it, it's gonna be my mask, the body mask there. So this way, I don't really need to hunt around uh, knowing where my ISO is living. So I can define them wherever I want them. And uh, later on, just access them wherever I am in the node graph. So that, that's a cool, cool trick so let's look at it how this will be so yeah there we see it's the the green color masked by this ISO that I started to declare earlier so this is kind of a, a way that I usually start up my uh, projects I spend some time building um, defining materials building masks or uh, defining uh, noises or stuff that I will use later on in my texturing and building a framework for what I think is going to be needed and then when I start to actually texturing it's, it's going to be more uh, straightforward and easy because I have everything defined and ready to go and I can uh, yeah can spend some time doing this and uh, then just get cracking on so okay so now we defined our uh, materials and or isos and look dev they gonna come and ask you can you export this maybe they want it as rgb channels 
or they want separate channels. So that's a very common theme in uh, texturing and look dev that you have an ISO map, so isolation map to control specific texture effects in look development. So let's take a look at how we can combine a few ISOs and uh, export it as an RGB map. So there's a different way of doing it. You can use extension pack, but if you don't have it, you can, uh, you can merge it with a comp. So I can show you that. So what I do by doing that. So let's say that uh, I have a uh, color that I set to uh, black here, for example. Let's paste it a few times here. So I want one that's pure red. Look at it. Another one that's pure green. There we go. So you can just merge the, the black there with the, the red and then you can have another merge node. So I hit the M button and add this green as I can set this to add. It's usually what I use there. You can set it as over, I guess, as well. But if you want to uh, add them together, you can do that. Now I want to define two radio nodes again. So I want this. Paste it in there. So let's say misc connect. So I want one gunmetal, misc connect transmitter and the body. So I pipe this into the mask there and this one into the mask there. Looking at it, so there we have it. So you could have, if you ever had another mask here, let's define something else like the tire, the whole tire, for example. Let's make another mask here. Let's define the tires as masks. Radio transmitter. Name this to ISO tire. So I want a, uh, so I had red, green, and then I want a blue color. There we go. Reassert the radio node and hook it up to connect transmitter. Oops, where did you go? There we go. This, the connect to transmitter interface will remember the last declared one. So in my case, it's this one and add. So there we go. There we have an RGB mask. And uh, this is something um, you can also do with extension pack um, to collect channels or stuff. But if you don't have connect that, you can just merge it together like this. And then you would declare a channel. And uh, I just hit channel there. Let's say it's scalar data. 8-bit is okay in this case as well. And um, and we can call this RGB ISO one or something. Depends on what you want to do. That's the basics of ISO. And yeah, I will get back to uh, a lot of this in later episodes. Now when I go through the node graph in my project recap. And if you wanna be up to date, consider subscribing to my channel and and don't forget to hit the bell notification because yeah, then you know when I go live or put something like this onto my channel. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.